is Byron Haslam. My mother's name is Elma Nevada Skillicorn Haslam. My father was born in Salt Lake and uh, he lived on the west side, which that really had a lot of good pioneer stock people live in that 16th ward down there. My grandfather owned a grocery store, which was right there on 5th West. 5th West. Your grandfather. My grandfather owned a grocery store. My father and two of his brothers worked in the grocery store with his dad. Uh, my mother was born in Nevada in a what is now a ghost town. Um, what's the name of the town? We've wanted to go Cal Delamar. Cal <laughs> yeah. Delamar. Delamar, Nevada. My grandfather, my grandmother was born in Nephi, my, my mother's mother, and she was a Burton. And my grandfather uh, was a miner, and he went wherever there were places to work in the mining business. My grandfather, both my grandmother and my grandfather did not live to be very old. Uh, I can't remember their ages. I'd have to look at my genealogy sheet. My grandmother um, had a goiter. A goiter. Uh -huh. Any of you know what a goiter is? It's Large like thyroid. Yeah. A what? And uh, I know. what is a goiter? Goiter. Goiter. So in her thyroid. neck. Large thyroid. She, she had a, I mean, I never remember her without this great big growth on her neck. They, when she was in her 50s, I don't even think she reached 60, they operated on that and she died on the table. My grandfather died at a young age. He had the disease that miners get where they get in the lung, the lung, the lung disease. And um, my grandfather Haslam died before I was born. I never knew him. My grandma Haslam lived in a great big house on the west side, and then she sold the home to her son and moved in a little duplex next door. My grandmother lived to be 80, 87, I think. And I remember my grandmother, she had um, what they called like a side room off the kitchen, kind of like a big pantry that you wa walked into. And she always had homemade bread for us when we were kids. And we would always, we'd spend quite a lot of time with my grandparents. My parents were very much in love with each other. They always were. And... I grew up in a very happy home with absolutely no money. My grand, my father had a grocery store on 21st South and 6th East. Was it the same grocery store that his dad had? had? Well, it was just like that, but uh -huh. it wasn't his grand. His it was my dad's store. Okay. And um, he lost that during the Depression, and we had to move from 6th East. We, they bought a home up all around 17th South somewhere. And then they lost that, and they bought the house on Elizabeth Street. I was four years old when we moved there. And I can remember that I, my dad would take us for a ride every Sunday for what seemed like years. And he was trying to collect from people who... Oh, didn't yeah. never paid him. I mean, at that time, you guys pay money when you go to the grocery store. It used to be when you'd go to a grocery store, you signed a piece of paper and you paid once a month. And that was the way they kind of did it. And my father just lost everything because nobody could pay him. And my father then started to work for the post office where he worked for years. And then later he worked as a water master. My grandma, my mother never was employed out of the home until I was about in high school. 
and she got a job at, at a store called Granite Mart in Sugar House. And she used to spend all her money on new grandkids. I mean, I don't think she brought a paycheck home. <laughs> But she kept everybody in clothes, and she worked. My father at the time was the first employee from the city that they let work to age 70. At that time, you could not work to that age, but he broke the rule. My parents, my both of them had strokes. My father died in 77. My mother died in 78. Nine if you wanted to later. read nine months later, if you ever want to really have a, a, a ha, we're looking for a thrilling experience, it was to take a ride with her father and him driving. <laughs> no kidding. Don, Don got where he wouldn't. And I didn't want you kids to ride with Grandma having her metal can. Uh, my grandmother, my mother. <laughs> Do you remember the metal can? My mother had bladder problems, and I inherited it, and he inherited it. So did my mom. My mother never drove. My sister tried to teach her, and she gave up on it. Anyway, that's about enough on my family. <laughs> well, Tell them about Grandpa's car. Oh, the, which one? The, with the, the plastic seats and the, oh, oh, yeah. the dull When my father stickers. quit driving, finally, he sold the car to my brother's boy, Craig. No, and yeah, my, your mother gave it to him. Oh, me. she gave it to him. Okay. And anyway, my dad had these plastic covers on the seats. So when Craig <laughs> turning those off, into a taco. there were this old car and these beautiful new seats because they've been covered with plastic <laughs> for years. But, um, and my family, There's the we girl didn't I'm have any, we always, You've you never Palmo seen that picture of Grandma, we have you? Palmo I made this report. Do any of you oh, know okay. where yeah. Palmo Springs is? Is it up by Lava Hot Springs? No, in Morgan, Morgan. Utah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we would drive up there, we went swimming. My mother had, oh, my father, there are 11 children in his family and 11 in my mother's family. Mother had, there were eight sisters. <laughs> and we would take the train once a week out to Saldir and have lunch and swim. And that was a big fun event. We, we did a lot of things Together as a family. As family. And, um, and I'm grateful for that. And one thing Don said when he got married, he said, I want my children to have the experience of being able to say we did a lot of things. And I hope you kids can say that. We did. Because we did really try, because he never did get that experience with his parents. So that's about it. And Don and I have been very happy. And January, we celebrate our 58th wedding anniversary. Yeah. 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 The day of the party, family party on the 16th of January. Oh. Wow. And here you thought I was born married. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks so yeah. much. I appreciate that. I, you know, I learned a lot. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And well, one other little interesting thing. Uh, she... You mentioned siblings and, and family. See, where my father, where his father died before he was born, where he had but one sister who never married, uh, and his parents were long gone before I was ever born. I never grew up having a grandfather, a grandmother, an aunt, or an uncle. Wow. Or a cousin on, your dad's on my side. dad's side. Name on that? I, I, that's why I kind of feel like I was isolated out there. But I never had any any family connection at all on my father's side. Wow! And we're grateful for our posterity. Your your kids. I make the expression all, all the time. We raise good kids in spite of us. <laughs> Now, well, if, if you would give us a second chance to raise you once again, well, I think we could do better. But. <laughs> <laughs> but the wooden stick, 
I, I think you did all right. I do too. Thank you. I'm not much. starting over. <laughs> I'm not either. I never want to be pregnant again. <laughs>